the beginning. In the distance, thunder growls, long and low and not giving up. Reminds me of my stomach pre-breakfast. I toss the air. Weird. Something isn't right. Julia! It's George rushing over. Hurry up! You need to get inside. George has an odd scent, like he's on guard. I've only smelled it a few times on him. I look up. The clouds have turned strange shades of green and yellow and gray, clustered together like rows of fat marshmallows. It's so ugly, it's beautiful. I can't stop looking. The air goes still, like a cat before it leaps on its prey. Kenyani and Ivan and Kazoo are racing toward the gorilla villa. A fat raindrop hits my nose. It tastes wrong. How can rain taste dangerous? People are yelling, running, opening umbrellas, covering their head with maps of the park. More drops. At the far end of the field, I can just make out a kello herding Ruby along. Another drop. A dry one. Like a pebble. Hail, George says. Julia, now. He grabs her hand. Rumbling, the sky boils and swirls. Bob, Julia calls. Come on. I move to leap off my perch to run to Julia. I've done it a thousand times, but this time I lose my footing. I never slip. I'm nimble as a nutwit. But the rain, the hail. I let out a yelp as I land on Ivan's side of the wall, splat in the mud. Bob, Julia screams. He'll be okay, George says. I can smell Julia's fear and George's doubt as he drags her away. Torn apart. Noise. It's all noise. Noise like a massive, noise that hurts. Noise like a massive truck bearing down on us, the power of its engine, the inescapable wheels, the relentless roar. Nothing to see, nothing even to smell. Just the terrible sound of the world disintegrating. No way. I'm flying. Airborne. Not far, just into the nearby giraffe domain. Not high, just enough to buzz the tops of trees. Not long, just long enough to stop breathing. But I fly. I'm not alone. Half the world seems airborne. Trees, boards, bicycles, chunks of roofs, umbrellas, chairs, bits and pieces of life. It all levitates past like some horrible magic trick. Something hits my head. A toy truck, maybe? And I yelp in pain. And I'm terrified. So scared I pee myself. And I'll be the first to admit it. You try and see how dry your underwear stays. But still, I fly. Not like in the box, the box with my brothers and sisters, not like with the owl. This is different. This is me, Bob the dog, spending a moment as Bob the bird, landing. It's over. I land, oomph, hard on my rear, and slide to a stop directly underneath Stretch, the oldest giraffe in, this, in the place. The roar. And by now I've realized we're talking a real, live tornado vanishes as quickly as it came, leaving a vacuum. A silence that hurts even more than the noise. Bad dog. And this is why I'm a bad dog. Not bad dog like I chewed your favorite slippers. Bad dog like I'm not a good representative of my species, of any species. I don't think, Ivan, Ruby, Julia, are they all right? I've got to go find them. That's what a hero dog would do. One of those guys on the Man's Best Friend show, Hero dogs dash into flames and dig into trouble. Hero dogs are fearless. Nope, not my style. What do I do? Bob, untamed, undaunted? I howl like a newborn puppy. Honest. I'm not hurt. Binged up a little, sure, but nothing major. And I don't howl for long. But it's what I do. Like I said, I ain't a saint. But at least I'm honest about my failings. Stretch. Slowly, with some difficulty, Stretch peers down between his two front legs. His body partially shelters me from the rain. A piece of canvas has draped itself around his neck like an ugly scarf. I swallow my howls. We look at each other, too, stu too stunned to form actual words. Finally, Stretch clears his throat. Hello, he says in a strangely calm voice. What kind of animal might you be, if you don't mind me asking? Dog. Didn't think you guys flew. We don't, as a rule. I pick myself up and move out from under stretch and take in my surroundings. The pelting rain has slowed some and the wind has dulled. What was that? Stretch asks, trying and failing to yank the canvas off his impressive neck. Tornado, I think. I've seen tornadoes on the Weather Channel. They looked like, they looked like water swirling down a drain, 
if the water were black and full of trucks and trees. They looked like death. I gaze up at him. I have to crane my neck. You okay? Yep, says Stretch. From what I can see, a lot of other folks aren't.